In the late 1960s, two young women joined the ranks of those who were sent overseas from the Alliance Tabernacle in Belleville. In 1968, Leona Embry left for France, where she spent a year learning French. She then went to the Congo in Africa, where she served in a missions hospital until 1983. During the time she was there, the country was renamed Zaire, and it is currently known as the Democratic Republic of the Congo. With training as a lab tech, Leona oversaw the lab at the missions hospital. Her main role involved working alongside local people to maintain and improve the lab in order to better support the nurses and doctors in treating their patients. Leona also did all sorts of things besides lab work. She drove the missions jeep to run errands and transport folks. She did some speaking and teaching, including at least one year teaching English as a second language to a high school class, which she enjoyed very much. Due to her remote location, contact with Canada was limited, but the church sent her packages at Christmas and prayed for and supported her regularly. She was a regular speaker at missions events whenever she was home on furlough. Pauline Clark, now Pauline Roswell, went to West Irian, Indonesia in 1969. The Women's Missionary Prayer Band from the Belleville Church helped to provide all the supplies she needed to take with her, as they had done for Leona the year before. Upon arrival, however, Pauline was unpleasantly surprised to find out that one of her barrels of supplies had not arrived. When the barrel finally arrived, it had been rifled through, and half the contents were stolen, including a typewriter and personal items that Pauline couldn't be without and that couldn't be purchased in Erian. Mrs. Massey, a Sunday school teacher from the church here in Belleville, was instrumental in helping to replace those items and get them sent to Pauline. Pauline did three months of language study at an inland mission station and three months of part-time language study on the coast where she lived and served for the next four years. For the first year, she was the bookkeeper for the Christian and Missionary Alliance office. Then for the next three years, she worked in the missions fellowship office which represented several different mission organizations in Indonesia, which worked together in harmony to reach the unreached. Pauline also taught an English Bible class to a diverse group of locals, including a judge and his wife, a university student, a university professor, and a local importer. One day, Pauline was planning to attend a funeral service. An Indonesian family invited her to travel with them, and due to that, she arrived home earlier than if she had gone with the other missionaries. Not long after arriving home, a Muslim lady, the university professor from Pauline's class, knocked on her door and said, I am ready to pray, meaning that she was ready to receive Christ. Pauline had the privilege of leading her to the Lord. Pauline had the opportunity to travel to several mission stations in the country. On one visit, she taught a Bible study to the children, and several responded to Jesus. She also assisted with clearing land for a new church building, the faith of the believers was strong. Each day that they ran out of building supplies, they would pray and ask God what they needed. The next day, the materials would be on the property, and the work continued. After Pauline returned to Canada, one of her roommates in Indonesia was in a car accident. She was blamed for the accident even though she was not at fault, and she was put in prison. God was working behind the scenes, however. The judge in charge of the case was the one who had attended Pauline's Bible class and he was instrumental in getting the roommate freed from prison. Both Leona and Pauline served faithfully in our congregation for many years. We are grateful for their service and for the example they have been for younger generations.